Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're into cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or just curious about how security researchers test Android devices, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into 10 unique Android hacking tools that stand out in the world of penetration testing. These aren't your run-of-the-mill tools, we're talking about the ones that bring something different to the table, whether it's a unique feature, a specific niche they dominate, or a fresh approach to a common problem. And don't worry, we're not diving into any illegal territory here. These tools are designed for legal authorized security research, like testing your own devices or systems you have permission to analyze. We're all about learning how things work and staying safe in the digital world. So if you're ready to explore the cutting edge of ethical hacking, let's jump right in. First up, we've got Phonesploit Pro. Now, if you're into Android security, you know ADB, the Android debug bridge, is like the magic portal into your device. And Metasploit? That's the big leagues for penetration testers. What makes Phonesploit Pro so cool is that it combines these two heavy hitters into one streamlined package. It's like having a direct line to a device's core, letting you pull information, test vulnerabilities, and even simulate attacks all remotely. Imagine this, you're a security researcher, and you want to see how vulnerable a device is to a specific type of attack. Phonesploit Pro lets you set up those scenarios in a controlled environment so you can study how attacks work and develop better defenses. Plus, it's all about that user-friendly vibe. You don't need to be a command line wizard to get things going. Phonesploit Pro makes it surprisingly intuitive to explore a device's security posture, which is perfect for anyone getting started with ethical hacking or looking for an all-in-one solution. Just remember, use your powers for good. Stick to testing your own devices or systems you have explicit permission to access. Next, let's talk about Quadra Inspect. This isn't just one tool, it's a whole framework, a collection of utilities designed to dissect Android apps and expose their inner workings. Think of it as a Swiss army knife for security researchers, equipped to handle static analysis, dynamic testing, and everything in between. What sets Quadra Inspect apart is its all-in-one approach. Instead of juggling multiple tools and trying to piece together the results, Quadra Inspect brings everything under one roof. This means you can seamlessly move from analyzing an app's code to testing its behavior in a real-world environment, all within the same platform. This kind of streamlined workflow is a game-changer for security researchers, especially those who are just starting out. It takes the hassle out of setting up complex testing environments so you can focus on the fun part, uncovering vulnerabilities and understanding how they work. And speaking of vulnerabilities, Quadra Inspect helps you find those too. It can sniff out potential security flaws in an app's code, track data flows to see where sensitive information might be leaking, and even simulate attacks to see how the app holds up under pressure. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Quadra Inspect is a powerful tool, and it's crucial to use it ethically and responsibly. Stick to analyzing apps you've developed yourself or have permission to test. Number three is LockKnife, and this one's for those times you forget your password, but also for understanding how lock screen security can be bypassed. Of course, we're talking about ethical hacking here, so think of it as a tool for testing the strength of your own security measures, not breaking into someone else's device. LockKnife works its magic using ADB, that trusty Android debug bridge we talked about earlier. It's a command line tool, so get ready to put your terminal skills to the test. But don't worry, it's not as intimidating as it sounds. LockKnife keeps things simple and focused, with commands designed to bypass lock screen patterns, pins, and even passwords. What makes LockKnife unique is its non-destructive approach. Unlike some other methods that might wipe your data in the process of regaining access, LockKnife aims to bypass the lock screen without touching your precious files. This makes it a valuable tool for security researchers and anyone who's ever had a mini heart attack after forgetting their phone's password. But remember, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Using LockKnife to bypass someone else's lock screen without their explicit permission is a big no-no. 
Stick to testing your own devices or systems where you have the legal right to poke around. Up next, we've got Ghost Framework, and this one's all about what happens after you've gained access to a device, legally, of course. It's the realm of post-exploitation, where you explore what an attacker might do once they're inside a system. Ghost Framework is all about stealth. It leverages ADB to establish a quiet presence on an Android device, allowing you to control it remotely without raising any alarms. Think of it as a ghost in the machine, silently observing and manipulating things from the shadows. This stealthy nature makes Ghost Framework a powerful tool for security researchers studying advanced persistence techniques. It allows them to understand how attackers maintain access to compromised devices even after the initial exploit. This knowledge is crucial for developing stronger defenses and detection mechanisms. But Ghost Framework's power goes beyond just observing. It gives you a range of options for interacting with the compromised device. You can capture screenshots, record keystrokes, upload and download files, and even execute commands, all without the user being any the wiser. It's important to remember that Ghost Framework is a double-edged sword. In the wrong hands, it can be used for malicious purposes. That's why it's crucial to emphasize that using Ghost Framework against devices or systems you don't own or have explicit permission to access is illegal and unethical. Fifth on our list is ShotDroid, a tool that's as versatile as it is potentially unnerving. Why unnerving? Because one of its key features is capturing webcam shots from an Android device's front camera. But don't worry, we're talking strictly ethical hacking here, so this is all about understanding what's possible, not spying on unsuspecting victims. Now before you get any ideas, let's be crystal clear. Using ShotDroid to access someone else's camera without their explicit permission is a major breach of privacy and potentially illegal. This tool is meant for security testing on devices you own or have clear authorization to access. So, why would ethical hackers use ShotDroid? It's all about understanding the potential for data leakage and unauthorized access. By simulating a scenario where an attacker gains control of a device's camera, researchers can identify vulnerabilities and develop strategies to protect user privacy. But ShotDroid's bag of tricks goes beyond just snapping selfies. It also packs keylogging capabilities, allowing you to record every keystroke made on the target device. This can be valuable for understanding how attackers might steal sensitive information like passwords and credit card details. And if that wasn't enough, ShotDroid also lets you remotely access and download files from the device. This means an attacker could potentially get their hands on anything stored on your phone, from photos and videos to documents and databases. It's a stark reminder of the importance of strong security practices. Next up, we have APK Infect, a tool that dives headfirst into the world of Android malware. Specifically, we're talking about Trojans, those sneaky pieces of software disguised as legitimate apps that wreak havoc once they've infiltrated your device. APK Infect isn't about creating malware, it's about understanding it. This tool allows security researchers to inject custom code into legitimate Android APKs, those installation files that bring apps to life on your device. By doing so, they can study how Trojans operate, how they spread, and what kind of damage they can inflict. Think of it as a controlled environment for dissecting a virus. Researchers can observe the Trojan's behavior, analyze its code, and develop countermeasures without unleashing it on unsuspecting users. It's like having a digital hazmat suit, allowing you to study dangerous digital pathogens from a safe distance. This kind of research is crucial for staying one step ahead of malware authors. By understanding how Trojans work, security experts can develop better detection methods, strengthen app security, and educate users on how to protect themselves. But remember, APK Infect is a powerful tool that should never be used for malicious purposes. Creating and spreading malware is illegal and unethical, even if you're doing it in the name of research. Stick to analyzing and modifying apps you've developed yourself or have explicit permission to experiment with. Number seven on our list is Pounce Keys, and this one's all about stealth. We're talking about keylogging, 
the art of recording every keystroke a user makes, and Pounce Keys takes a particularly cunning approach by exploiting Android's accessibility service. Now, before you start eyeing your phone with suspicion, remember that ethical hacking is about responsible disclosure and using knowledge for good. Pounce Keys, like the other tools on this list, is meant for security testing and research on devices you own or have permission to access. What makes Pounce Keys stand out is its ability to operate under the radar. By leveraging the accessibility service, which is designed to assist users with disabilities, Pounce Keys can quietly log keystrokes in the background without raising too many red flags. This makes it a valuable tool for security researchers studying how attackers might steal sensitive information like passwords and credit card details. But Pounce Keys doesn't stop there. It also allows you to choose where those logged keystrokes get sent. Want them delivered discreetly to your Discord server? No problem. Prefer a more traditional email drop via Gmail? Pounce Keys can handle that too. This flexibility makes it an even more potent tool for understanding how data can be silently siphoned from compromised devices. Remember, knowledge is power, and in the world of cybersecurity, understanding how attacks work is the first step in defending against them. Next up, we have ADBnet, and this one takes a more global approach to Android security. Instead of focusing on individual devices, ADBnet scans the vast expanse of the internet, searching for Android devices with a specific vulnerability, exposed ADB ports. ADB, as we've discussed, is incredibly useful for developers and tinkerers, but it can also be a security risk if left open to the public internet. That's where ADBnet comes in. It acts like a digital bloodhound, sniffing out these exposed devices and highlighting potential security risks. Imagine a world map dotted with tiny lights, each representing an Android device with an open ADB port. That's essentially what ADBnet allows you to visualize. It's a powerful tool for researchers studying the prevalence of this specific vulnerability and understanding how it might be exploited. But ADBnet isn't just about pointing fingers at vulnerable devices. It's about raising awareness and encouraging better security practices. By highlighting the sheer number of devices exposed to this risk, ADBnet aims to educate users and network administrators about the importance of securing their devices and closing unnecessary ports. It's a reminder that security isn't just about individual devices, it's about the entire digital ecosystem. Every exposed device represents a potential entry point for attackers, and it's up to all of us to do our part in securing the digital world. Ninth on our list is SMS I2, and this one's all about intercepting those digital whispers, SMS messages. Now, before you picture some shadowy figure reading your private conversations, let's be clear. SMS I2 is a tool for ethical hacking, meant for testing and research on devices you own or have permission to access. What makes SMS I2 unique is its modern twist on a classic surveillance technique. Instead of relying on old school methods like physical access or network sniffing, SMS I2 leverages the power of Telegram, the popular messaging app to forward SMS messages from the target device to your own Telegram account in real time. Imagine receiving a notification on your Telegram every time a specific device sends or receives an SMS message. That's the power of SMSI2. It gives you a window into the text-based communications of a device, allowing you to analyze its messaging patterns, identify potential security risks, and understand how data might be leaked through seemingly innocuous text messages. But SMI2's true value lies in its potential for security research and education. By understanding how easily SMS messages can be intercepted, researchers can develop better security measures to protect user privacy. It also serves as a stark reminder for users to be mindful of the information they share via text, especially when discussing sensitive topics. Remember, knowledge is power. And in the world of cybersecurity, understanding how data can be intercepted is the first step in protecting it. And finally, we have Aravad, a tool that takes remote control to the next level. We're talking full-fledged remote administration tool, RAT, capabilities, but with a modern twist that sets it apart from the pack. Aravad boasts a slick web-based GUI, making it incredibly user-friendly, 
even for those new to the world of ethical hacking. But Aravat's uniqueness goes beyond its looks. Unlike many other rats that require complex port forwarding setups, Aravat streamlines the process, making it incredibly easy to establish a connection with the target device. This ease of use makes it an attractive option for both seasoned security professionals and those just dipping their toes into the world of ethical hacking. Once connected, Aravat unleashes a treasure trove of features. We're talking remote camera access, allowing you to see through the eyes of the device, file management capabilities, giving you the power to browse, upload, and download files, and of course, the ability to execute commands on the device as if you were physically holding it. But with great power comes great responsibility. Aravat, like all the tools on this list, is intended for ethical hacking purposes only. Using it to gain unauthorized access to devices or systems is illegal and unethical. Arvat serves as a powerful reminder that the line between helpful tool and dangerous weapon often depends on the intent of the user. In the right hands, it's a valuable asset for security testing and research. In the wrong hands, it can be a potent tool for malicious activities. And there you have it. 10 unique Android hacking tools that shine in the world of ethical hacking and security research. From dissecting malware to remotely controlling devices, these tools highlight the diverse and constantly evolving landscape of cybersecurity. But remember, it's not just about the tools themselves. It's about the knowledge, skills, and ethical compass you bring to the table. These tools can be powerful forces for good, helping us understand and mitigate security risks but only if used responsibly and legally. So stay curious, explore the digital world, and never stop learning. But always remember to use your powers for good. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.